It's the year 2021, but today, right here, right now, we're going all the way back to the year 1999 because we're going to be opening up the original base set Pokemon cards. Let's take a dive back in time. So sit back, relax, get ready. It's going down here in the cave. I mean, I'm really excited. This is my childhood. Let me know. Put a hashtag me in the chat. We're live right now, by the way. If you guys grew up with the base set of Pokemon cards, the original Pokemon cards that were ever released in English right in front of me. Factory sealed in the booster box. I have it. Guys, you have the Charizard, the Venusaur, and the Blastoise. The OG trio of Generation 1 getting opened up here, but that's not all inside the box. You got Alakazam, you got Raichu, Polyrath, Magneton, Hitmonchan, Gyarados, and a ton more. I'm super excited to open this up with you guys. We're going to open up all 36 booster packs inside of here. So get ready for this, guys. Like... I'm just, I'm, I'm, hold on a second, wait, wait, yo, I'm getting a phone call here, what, what, hold on one second, yo. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Two Charizards and one booster box, are you kidding me? No. Yes? Okay. Whatever you say. Okay, so, boss's orders. Apparently, we're gonna be pulling two Charizards out of this booster box. I don't know about that one. I'll probably get fired if we don't, so we gotta make it happen. So we need the fire in the chat right now. I wanna see the chat get demolished, get destroyed with just straight fire for the Charizards. All right, so let's crack this sucker open. This thing has been sealed for over 20 years. Original release date, 1999. 2021, baby, let's go. Um, I mean, if we could pull two Charizards out of here, it would be absolutely insane. We did it one time. Many, many days ago in the Poke Cave, probably at least a year and a half ago here, we had our good old friend Alien, who literally made it happen. I think at the last pack was the second Charizard. Alright, let's see if we can repeat history and make it happen again. Top is popped. Ladies and gentlemen, base set Pokemon cards. Oh, the Charizard on top too. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's get it. Alright, so of course... The OG, the classic, the Charizard, or the Chazard, as we call it here sometimes in the cave. We also have the Blastoise, dude. These are extra crispy, man. The quality of the packs, like from the original Wizard of the Coast, beautiful. Look at that. And the Venusaur. Throw it in. Which which one of these is your favorite artworks? Charizard, Blastoise, or Venusaur? Let's see who gets the most votes. We're going to take all the packs out, and we're going to mix them up, and then we're just going to get straight into it here. Check this out. I've mastered the art of taking a stack of packs out of these booster boxes like that. All right, let's mix them up. So literally, we don't know when we're going to pull hollows. There's usually 12 hollows or so in a booster box. We're going to see how many we get out of here. We're going to see which Pokemon we actually get, which hollows we get. There's 16 hollows in this set. Of course, there's also the Machamp, but you cannot get the Machamp in the booster boxes. You have to get that from the starter deck. But besides the Machamp, there's 16 hollows in here. And I'm super excited because our good friend, our pal, one of the uh, mods here, Elon Muck, who you probably see in the chat right now, literally went through and priced out all the cards in this set in PSA 10 and PSN M prices. So I'm gonna be able to go through all prices on these cards. Because if you guys didn't know, old Pokemon cards are the talk of the town recently. <laughs> um, so if we can pull the Charizard and it comes out flawless, which is pretty, pretty tough. I actually have to go like this so that we don't mess these up. There we go. Uh, which is pretty, pretty tough. But if you could somehow do that, you're talking about a card that's worth over $10,000 in a perfect PSA 10. Uh, if you get like a Beckett 10 or Beckett Black label, that's even crazier. We got two Blastoise on the top there. All right, let's get it. We got Jimmy over here holding down the cameras, holding down the music, holding everything down as well as all the mods in the chat. Make sure you guys say what's up. Make sure you guys check them out down below in the description. I'm going to jump into it right now because uh, we got a regular coming back here who... Probably will beat me up if we don't pull him a hollow. So let's get a hollow first pack. We have the one, the only, da, 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 John Cena, 102.92 with one pack, baby. Let's go. Look, we got his face right there too. Check that. The Pokemon logo there for the original base set. All right, John. I don't, I don't know if this play this is happening right now. I don't, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not feeling it. Let me see. Let's see how this is. What's happening? All right, this will work. John, good luck. Let's get some first pack magic. What's up, Allie? What's up, Kyle? What's up? Um, Eddie, Landon, 
How you, how's everybody doing? Let's get into it. Going back to 1999 in the cave today. Original Blastoise artwork on the cover here. Pokemon trading card game. 11 additional game cards. The unlimited version, which is pretty limited nowadays. And let's get it. Pack number one. John, good luck. Let's get it. What's up, Anxiety War? Good to see you. Joey, what's up? Astro in the cave. Colton Rock Sandy. Ooh, we got a star me on the top here. So let's start off the first few packs here. And I'll go over um, because I have them right next to me, these prices. So it'll be kind of cool to go through and see these. Um, yeah, let's get it. Arcanine is our first uncommon out of this. We got the original. 1999 on the bottom there. Wizards, number 23 out of 102. This is the Arcanine evolution from Growlithe there. Original base set. You're not going to have any symbols here. Um, you're not going to have the first edition either because this isn't the first edition. If this was a first edition pack, uh, we'd be talking about pack that's like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. But we got the Arcanine original stuff that we grew up with on the playground. This is number 23 in the set. Arcanine goes for about 100 bucks in a 10, around 53 in a 9. Next, we have Jinx, number 31 in the set. Jinx, around $57 in a 10, $30 in a 9. Porygon up next, 39 in the set as well. Dude, thank you again, Elon. Make this seriously so easy to be able to just be able to pull up these numbers. Like, it's literally right there on the screen for me. Um, $110 in a 10, around $25 in a 9. And the Star Me moving into our commons. I used to always get confused because I always felt like this should be an uncommon because it's an evolution. Uh, but you got number 64 in the set. The Star Me around 60 bucks in a 10, around 46 in a 9. Now remember, guys, to grade your cards. Oh, I love Ghastly. To grade your cards nowadays, it costs like a minimum of $20 per card. So it's definitely more expensive now. It used to be like nine bucks. Before that was like seven dollars a card. Um, but fifty dollars or no, sorry. Number 50 in the set, Ghastly. I'm getting too excited. Uh, $60 in a 10. And we got the Caterpie. Number 45 in the set. The little caterpillar. Um, Caterpie goes for around 40 bucks in a 10. Pikachu! There we go, baby. The first hit. Uh, the first big starter hit, anyway. Number 58 in the set. We got our boy Pikachu with the yellow cheeks. Now, Pikachu is definitely a big one if you're going to pull a common out of here. Uh, Pikachu goes for like $250 in a 10, guys. About 50 bucks in a 9. We got the Poliwag. I thought it might have been a Squirtle for a second there. Our boy Poliwag. About 70 bucks in a 10. Alright, man. Does anybody else have Windows? And like, they just did these updates. And it's like, there's like so many more uh, pop-ups and stuff. You got like the weather on the bottom. But like, yo, they are not stopping with the pop-ups. The news and all this stuff is actually like a little too much. The Psychic All-Knowing All-Seeing Eye. The Lightning Energy. And pack number one, John Cena. Oh, we got a hollow. It's a magneton. Actually, coincidentally, right after the lightning energy. We'll take a hollow, though. John, always pulling in the hollow hits. Let's get it. All right. Magneton. Hollow is definitely not like the, you know, it's not one of the biggest hitter hollows out here. But listen, a hollow out of the first pack is a good way to start this off. Uh, number nine in the set. Magneton. Um, I think if that's correctly, or correctly, if that's correct, is going for around 700 bucks in a PSA 10. Dude, the Magneton. Let's see this thing. It looks pretty nice. I do see like a very, it's like, there is a print line, but it's like really faint. Uh, see right there? Like super faint. You guys like Magneton? I can't say anything about Magneton because we have a lot of Magneton fans and they're going to just come at me. So... Magneton looks actually very, very well centered. It looks like a very clean base set card here. And the back looks pretty good. There's actually a little speck there, if you guys can see that. I don't know if that's on the actual card. I think it is. But overall, a pretty clean base set unlimited hollow. I've seen definitely much worse condition than that out of a pack for base set. There's no chipping on the edges or anything like that. The centering is very nice. It's very limited to how much uh, print lines there are. It's very, very, very faint. Um, one of the faintest print lines I've seen, so we'll take that. The dub. The W for John. All right, the magnet time. The lightning. Let's go. I'm going to sleeve up the rest of these cards really quickly here as uh, we move on to our next person. That was only the first pack here, so plenty left to go, plenty left to see. Let's get it. Let's get it. Sleeve it, says Corey. Sleeve it. What's up, Jeff the Ref? Sinister props. 
Thank you so much for the super chat. Good to see you. Poker Rev, Sinister Props Shop has made you something that is fire. Wanted to send you something. Thank you for all the amazing content. How do we go about sending you a package for you to uh, open? Dude, that is incredibly kind of you. Uh, my PO box is down below, but never feel like you ever have to send me anything. I love letters. I love letters. You guys like just some kind words. Is, it literally makes my day. Um, I really appreciate that. Sinister props. I'll, I'll definitely be on the lookout. John Cena! Thank you for jumping in. The magnets in the chat. <laughs> ah, I can't take the pot. Oh, it's when I put my mouse over this one part on the on the toolbar now. Dude, got it. Windows. Come on. Come on. I, I don't like that. Mm. I'm about to just hide it. I'm sorry, just hide it. Alright, I'm not gonna get into it right now. Too much. I'll figure it out during the live. Next up, though, we got Philip B. 102.93 with one single pack. It's the Charizard pack. The Charizard pack. So, for those of you guys that do not know, some of the biggest hitters in the set Alakazam, Blastoise, Chansey, Charizard, <laughs> Clefairy, Gyarados, Hitmonchan, Mewtwo, Nidoking, Ninetales. I feel like this is the, po the poker rap right now. Mewtwo, Nidoking, Ninetales, Polyrath, Raichu, Venusaur, Zapdos. Let's go. Philip, good luck. Welcome back to the cave. Let's get it. <laughs> John, John Cena is back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the super chat, brother. John Cena is finally back with a hollow. Thanks for having you, the man. Let's pull that Zard in this box. Ooh, dude. John is happy. John is happy. That means we're going to make it through another night <laughs> without the choke slam. All right. So, we have the seal. Let me know if you guys do want me to go over, like, the prices on... Like the whole pack, or if you do or you don't, just let me know. I can do it for some of them, just so you guys can get an idea. And then maybe once we start doubling up a lot, then maybe I'll stop. Um, because again, Elon Musk just literally throwing it up here, making it super easy. Seal PSA 10, 75, 35, and a 9. Porygon, we did this one earlier. Um, 110 in a, in a 10, around 25 in a 9. We got a revive number 89 in the set. So this is one of the trainer cards. This is a uncommon. Um, Number 89 in the set, 1999. About $35 and a 10. We got a Doduo. Number 48 in the set. Oh, there's the Magnemite to go with the Magneton. Bill, Bill, Bill. Number 91. About $40 in PSA 10. Man, I remember when I was a kid, I was like hanging out with my brother and we had our card binder and we waited for the school bus and we got to the page with the trainers. And for some reason, I don't know why, we were like, yeah, I don't really like this card, Bill. <laughs> we were just kept saying we don't like this and um, um, One of the guys at the bus stop was a parent And his name was Bill and it got real awkward real quick. We're like, yo, I don't like Bill I don't like Bill. Something about Bill. I don't like. I do not like him and uh, And then we like looked over and we're like Uh-oh We left it at that. Oh, rat -ta, ta 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 By the way, Bill number 91 in the set Bill goes for, oh, I said that already, about 40. Ratatat, number 61, goes for around $50 and a 10, around 30 and a 9. Squirtle! There we go, our next starter Pokemon. Number 63 in the set, about 100 bucks and a 10, 50 and a 9. Let's go, dude, the Squirtle, the OG Squirtle with the bubbles. You can't beat it. I'm sorry, you cannot beat the old school, the OG artwork. We have a Lightning. <laughs> we got the Fighting Energy. Ed! Pack number two, Philip! Pulling in our second hollow two in a row! Clefairy has been pulled! Philip! We're in a row, baby! Oh man! Let's go, dude! Centering first off is actually very good on these. Clefairy, Clefairy! Wow! We got a Clefairy hollow hit, guys! Clefairy! Who's a fan? Number five in the set, Clefairy goes for around almost $800 in a 10, and I think around 120 ish in a PSA 9. Clefairy. Oh, I keep going, my, I keep putting my mouse over that. Somebody tell me how to fix that. It's the new update on Windows where it says the weather and you put your mouse over it and just completely blocks the whole screen. But dude, centering on these have been absolutely amazing. Let's check the hollow out. Clefairy's Clefairy is tough to grade sometimes. You gotta look out for the print lines. I'm staring into um, Jimmy's eyes right now, if you guys are wondering. 
So yeah, this is, it's another one with like that same, it's like super faint. Super, super faint. It's a lot more faint than uh, other print lines I've seen. Squirtle misprints. Squirtle ink dot misprints? I'll check it out. It's probably not a known error. It could just be a, a one-off print dot. I'll check it out. Man, I don't know. What's happening with the playlist? Oh, okay. Got a little thriller instrumental version. Okay. Hopefully I'm allowed to play this. I think I'm allowed to play this. I hope I'm allowed to play this. Alright, Squirtle Ink Dot. I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh. I do see it. Actually, I feel like I've seen that before. See right down there? Right above the 6 and 63. Yo, Nick Strength and Power, what's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Yo, I've been loving the uh, the content, brother. I've been loving the content. Nick Strength and Pokemon, putting out the news. The Pokemon news. It's been cool. Keep up the good work, man. Right click, go to news and interest, then click turn off. Thank you so much. Right click, go to news and interest, then click turn off. Right click, go to news and interest. Oh my gosh, you're a legend, dude. Turn off. Woo! One small step for the Poke Cave. One giant leap for the stream. Legend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That helps so much. Alright, so sleeping these up. We're two packs in. And we got two hollows already. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure you demolish the like button. I can almost reach it, but it's just it's right there. Make sure you guys hit the like button so we can get to 1,000 likes. We got about 1,500 people here watching so, uh, out of 2,000 that have not hit the like button. And if you're brand new here, you've never seen me before, even, you can even, I, I can almost reach that one as well. Hit that subscribe button, stick around. Guys, it's like all things Pokemon cards. Or Yu-Gi-Oh. I heard Yu-Gi-Oh Rev. I heard a rumor of Yu-Gi-Oh Rev is coming back very soon. I heard a rumor. All right, fill up two packs in, two hollows. Normally, it's about one in three for the hollow hits. We already got two. We're way ahead right now. Let's keep that going. Maxwell T, 102.94 with one single pack. Mikey holding it down with the hollow hits. Thank you so much as well. All right, Maxwell. Let's get it. Why do I keep feeling like I have to hiccup? All right. War Turtle has an evolution error. If you pull it, it's worth over 1300 plus, says Oscar. Yes, I've never pulled a War Turtle error card where it has the War Turtle in, this, in the evolution box. I want to pull that card so badly. I've, I've never pulled one. Never pulled one. Rhyme Style in the cave. Fear not, I'm here. All right, perfect timing. Perfect timing, Rhyme Style. We get the Venusaur pack artwork. Now, if, if this rumor is true, I've heard... I've heard that you can pull out Charizards sometimes a little bit more often out of the Venusaur pack. Maybe just coincidence. But maybe it is the truth! And we handle the truth. Three from the back. We're going to save the rare for last. Maxwell, good luck. Starting off with the Magikarp. Number 35. Magikarp going for about $180 in a PSA 10 and around $45 in a PSA 9. Dratini, that's a good hit. I love this card. I love Dratini, Dragonair. I mean, obviously Dragonair. Who doesn't? 26 in the set. We're on $160 in 10. Wow, and about $90 in, in a PSA 9. Charmeleon, y'all crushing the uncommons right now. Number um, 24 in the set, Charmeleon. Around 140 in a 10, 50 in a 9. We got Switch. The old Switcherooski. Number 95 in the sets. Goes for about 30 in a 10. Starmie. Number 64 in the set. Once I start picking up on duplicates, I'll probably stop pricing those. Uh, number, about 16 in a 10, 46 in a 9. Bulbasaur! $30,000, Jimmy! Hit the fireworks! <laughs> oh, no? This isn't 30000 Oh. Okay. It's a, a what? A meme? I've never heard of a meme. 
a meme. Okay. Number 44 in the set, Bulbasaur. Apparently, a Bulbasaur is worth $270. Around 40 and a 9. Bulbasaur is a tough one to get into 10 for whatever reason. It always has been. Pikachu? <laughs> Magnemite. <laughs> Magnemite. All right. Pidgey. We actually haven't pulled a Pidgey yet. Number 57 in the set. Pidgey, about 40 bucks in a 10. Water energy! Yo, I hope you guys are having a good time. Psychic energy! Pack number three. We're gonna get three hollows in a row. Oh! Computer search is our rare number 71 in the set. Computer search really goes for only about 50 bucks in a PSA 10. I guess people don't want an old school 90s computer. Probably has like Windows 2000 on it. Ugh. Alright, Maxwell, thank you for jumping in. I'm sorry we could not pull you a hollow out of there, but you know what? You had the best non hollows so far. Um, I'm gonna actually sleeve these up and I'm gonna show really quickly like the big hitter non hollows that you got, which there was like a handful, I think it was like four or five. Uh, let's go. Nova, what's up? Good to see you. Thank you for the super chat. Yo, Rev, or hey, Rev, you're epic and how's your day? Uh, I'm doing very well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. You're hyped? I'm super hyped. So, Bulbasaur came out of the Venusaur pack. Massive hitter. Uh, that wasn't the only big hitter non hollow though. It's crazy when you have like commons and uncommons that are actually bigger than the uh, the rare. Charmeleon was a massive hitter. Dratini was a massive hitter for a non hollow And our good buddy Magikarp. Because you know one day the Magikarp will be a Gyarados. All right, we are only three packs into this thing, and it's already heating up like crazy. We got two hollow hits. If you guys are just joining up right now, we have not pulled the Charizard yet, but my boss told me that we need to pull two Charizards today, or I'm fired. So I don't want to get fired. Allen in 102.95 with one single pack, the Blastoise. All right, let's do it. Jimmy, close it up a little bit here. Let's get serious now. Blastoise pack artwork. I gotta rehydrate. All right, Blastoise. Let's get it. Good luck. We're gonna take three from the back here. You guys are just joining up right now. You're in time. We still are looking for all the big hitter hollows out of here. We pulled two hollows so far. Should be at least ten more hollows out of this box. Could be a little more. You never know. Energy Retrieval to start this off. This number 81 in the set. Um, going for around 50 bucks in a 10, 25 and a 9. Another Charmeleon. That's what's up. Number 24 back to back with the Charmeleons. It's like 140 in a 10. Around 60 to 9. Ooh, Magmar. Number 36. Magmar. 100 in a 10. About 30 to 9. And we got Abra. That's actually the first Abra of the night. Uh, Abra. About 60 bucks in a 10, 30 and a 9. We got another Ghastly. Oh, we got Onyx. 56. I always liked Onyx, except for in the beginning of the, the game, the original, when you had to go against Brock with the Onyx. That was brutal. And if you had the L version, forget it. 16 to 10. Rat -ta, 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 ta Another Pikachu. About 250 in a PSA 10 on this one, if I remember correctly. Dude, I guess Pikachu is the and Bulbasaur, the most expensive commons. I forget what Charmander is going for, though. We'll check that out when we pull one. Uh, we got the psychic energy. We got the water energy. Oh, okay. All right. It's a non hollow, but if you're going to get a non hollow, this is definitely my favorite non hollow to get out of the entire set. The Dragonair, dude. That's beautiful artwork. Like that, that is a Dragonair artwork. Well, clearly, it is. But <laughs> that, that, I mean, that is a Dragonair artwork. <laughs> Dragonair! Number 18 in the set. It is our rare. And Dragonair goes for about 125-ish in a PSA 10 and about 80 in a PSA 9. That's a gorgeous artwork there. Let's sleeve it up. And let's go. Dragonair going in for Alan. So we did get the Pikachu as well, which was actually a really big hitter. Um, as well as the Charmeleon. We did have some nice Mount Hollows out of that pack. Um... Also want to say what's up to Savannah. Yo, good to see you, Savannah Rhodes. Thank you uh, for being here. Thank you for the super chat. Hey, Rev, you inspired me to do a chilling random boxing and vintage card giveaway as my first affiliate stream on Twitch. Good luck. Hey, good luck to you, Savannah. Make sure you guys check that out. It sounds like a blast. 
Chilling rain. We might be able to do some chilling rain here in the cave too uh, soon. Hopefully to maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. I gotta look at my schedule. But that would be fun. Tyler, yo, good to see you, man. Thank you for the super chat. Oh uh, yes, I'm on. I don't know if Mikey um, emailed me. I feel like Mikey, if you see, uh, shoot me an email from last stream. Shoot me an email from last stream. Mikey Williams with the Green Alien Squad. Um, all right. <clears throat> Dragon Air! Let's keep it rolling. Next up! Kevin N! 10296! Kevin has two packs. One of them is the Charizard, and the other is the Venusaur. What's up, Eric? Good to see you! Pokemon Trader Squad, what's up? The Cinnamon Square, did you get the Charizard? Not yet. The boss says we gotta pull two Charizards tonight. Alright, so. Chat, you decide. Chat decides. Hashtag Charizard first if you want the Charizard pack opened up first. Or hashtag Venusaur if you'd like the Venusaur pack open first. Majority wins. Majority vote wins on that one. Let me know. Ben. <laughs> oh, it is tough, dude. PSA has gotten tougher. I, 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 I'm right there with you. Like, I, I genuinely believe that PSA is a little bit tougher now. But yeah, it's tough, man. Also, yours were like out of the packs for 20 years, so you gotta put that into the equation as well. Um, like, if you if you got my cards, my childhood cards. Like, I don't know if you guys saw the video. My childhood cards. Um, yeah, so like, that's probably looking like a PSA point zero five. What do you guys think this would grade? I mean, that's, it looks like it's been folded so many times. It was like a challenge to see how much you could fold this card. Um, so you getting like mostly eights and, and a lot of nines uh, is actually honestly really, really good. Um, but yeah, I see so some of my cards are a little I mean they're a little beat up some of them like this one's a little beat up a little bit PSA 10 candidate no <laughs> no not at all all right <laughs> Kevin let's go what do we open it first it looks like oh, you guys always make it so so tough. It's like kind of even. Somebody said Blastoise. We'll have a Blastoise pack artwork up next. I'm, I'm going to say Venusaur just pulled out ahead a little bit on that. Maybe we'll save the Charizard for last. Alright! Kevin, good luck. We got Kevin N with... Oh. That's a good sign. If you open up a pack and you see a starter just staring back at you... Off to a great start here. Alright, PSA 15 on mine, thanks. <laughs> What's up, Timothy? Good to see you. Dratini, big hitter on our Uncommon. Kakuna Matata, the first one here. Number 33 in the set. Kakuna about 70 and a 10. Around 60 in a PSA 9. Far-fetched. Far-fetched. 27. Far-fetched. About 80 bucks in a 10, 25 in a 9. And there is our Squirtle. Big hitter. Haven't pulled a Nidoran until now. Number 55 in the set. Nidoran, about 60 bucks in a 10, 45 in a 9. Caterpie, we pulled one of those a little earlier. We did get our switch Ruski. Rat -ta -ta, ta 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 is our third one, I think. We're already there. Water energy. Psychic energy. Let's get a little Poke Cave luck. Oh, the evolution spray. A non hollow trainer card, number 72 in this set. The evolution spray. The evolution spray. I feel like, ooh, you know what? It's actually, I, I think it's tough to find this card in particular. I think I have a really, probably like an older sale on the card. 33 seems super, super low in a 10 on that. Um, I think it's just really hard to find this card in a PSA 10. That's my guess. The evolution spray as our rare non hollow. But Kevin, maybe we're just saving it for this Charizard pack artwork. Maybe this is the one. 
All right, so let me just switch up this playlist a little bit here. Let's see how this is. Um, let's do this. Oh, I can't pick music today. It's not working. All right, let's see what this is. Get a little dramatic. A little dramatic. Kevin! The Charizard pack artwork. Let's see what we can do. Keep calling an Alakazam hollow out of this pack. Let's see. Three from the back. Can we get our third hollow out of this booster box? We got Eradicate. First one of the day. Number 40 in the set. Eradicate. With the Super Fang. Goes for around $40 in a PSA 10. We got another Jatini. Big hitter card there. Double colorless. Actually, you I feel like for some reason you don't pull these too often. It's in the uncommon slot. Double colorless around 90 in a PSA 10. 30 in a 9. We got a Voltorb. Volpix. Number 68 in the set. Volpix. About 135 in a 10. 45 in a 9. We got a Pidgey. Bulbasaur, there we go. Big hitter on the common slot. Sandshrew, number 62 in the set. We got the fighting energy. Fire energy. All right, fire energy. It's time to come and clutch, baby. Give me the Charizard. Hollow Gyarados. Hollow number three out of the booster box has been pulled. Ooh, one of my favorites. You guys know it. If you hang on to your Magikarp, eventually... You'll get the Dragon of the Sea. Gyarados has been pulled. Hollow hit, Kevin. We saved that Charizard pack artwork for you. And it had the goods. Gyarados. Number six in the set. Going for it. Oh, wait, number six. About 450 in a PSA 10. Around 200 in a PSA 9. The Dragon of the Sea. Centering has been very good on these hollows. I mean, that's 10 centering. Boom goes the dynamite poker cave. Three hollows in. Gyarados. Same thing with this one. Very, very clean on the hollow, except for like the tiniest, like it, the tiniest that I've ever seen in my life, probably. Print line. Like so. See that right there? It's like barely visible. Barely visible. The back though, we do have a little bit of whitening on the corner there. I think maybe a little bit up there as well. Overall, though, uh, the hollows are coming out here very nice. I'd say that's at least a safe nine. The Gyarados. The only thing is, when you send your card off to PSA, you're going to have to wait till like, the year 2025 to get them back. And first, you have to wait for them to be able to accept cards again. It's kind of the only thing. But, we get a Gyarados hollow. Let's go. Welcome to the room! Welcome to the Poke Cave! What's up, Nick? Day 3,693. Still no Zard. Dude, you know what? I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or not, or how many of you follow me on Instagram. Uh, my handle's back there. You can also just type in PokeRev on Instagram. I posted on my story around three or four days ago. My friend drove up from North Carolina, stopped by, said, what's up? Said, yo, when's the last time you opened up Pokemon cards? Said, 1999. I said, it's your lucky day. Got Shining Fates collection box for you. I kid you not, Poke Cave. This is a true story. First pack, didn't have anything. Just a reverse. Second pack, had a baby shiny. Third pack, had an amazing rare Kyogre. Fourth pack, another baby shiny. Fifth pack, another baby shiny. Sixth pack, shiny Charizard VMAX. Shiny Charizard VMAX. And then the last pack, I think it was like a hollow. If you don't open, if you haven't opened up Pokemon cards, I'm telling you. This is, you'll find this in the dictionary. If you, if you haven't opened up Pokemon cards since like you were a kid or you've never opened up Pokemon cards, this is the trick. Get whoever it is, give them a, give them something. Give them a collection box, give them, give them something. They will pull fire. They will pull fire. But yes, he got all those cards. I was like, dude, super happy for you. And I told him before, and I was like, there's some, there's something where I can pull you guys Shiny Charizard VMAXs. Like, it's just, I don't know. Very, just, it just happens. Like, it's expected. 
is expected. But uh, I was super happy for him. I didn't have the tinfoil hat on Lalo. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> Roxanne, he doesn't believe it. It's too crazy to believe. It's true. Oh, Jimmy's getting good. I'm going to have to give him a raise. Justin P, 10297. Justin, two packs. The Blastoise and the Venusaur. All right, chat, you decide again. What are we going to start with, the Venusaur again, or should we start with the Blastoise this time? I got to rehydrate up a little bit. Ben, welcome back to the Poke Cave. <laughs> I don't know why it shows your name on there, but you've been an OG. I appreciate you. Um, Poke fam, what's up? Thank you for the super chat. Man, you inspired me to reopen cards and to collect. I kind of grew up and never went back. Thank you for inspiring me. Uh, and thank you for being real. Poke fam, that's amazing. I'm glad to hear that. Welcome back. Good vibes, storytelling. Thank you for the super chat. Poker Rev is a cool dude. Hey, I like you, good vibes. You have some good vibes. Thank you. <laughs> Elon Musk, yo, dude. Good good call. Thank you so much for the super chat. I always forget. You're always looking out, dude. I appreciate it. Elon Musk. Evan, what's up? Thank you for the super chat. And just leave. Yo, Rev, I'm two rainbow chocolates deep now. Show and tell soon? Do it. Show and tell soon. Um, I remember you pulled the first one. What was it, like, a couple months ago? That's insane. All right, let me fix this very quickly and then we're gonna jump back we gotta put the slow bro mode on so we can so we can uh yeah keep it a little less crazy it's very crazy in here but tone it down a little bit so the mods can uh enjoy the opening as well blastoise 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 venusaur venusaur blastoise 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 it looks like okay blastoise first all right let's do the blastoise first let's do it Kelly, what's up? Thanks for the super chat. Alright, let's go. Oh, we're getting comfortable. I'm gonna open it. I get comfortable in the live streams. We sit back, we relax, we we just hang out for a few hours. Let's go. Alright, Justin. Two packs. Starting off with the Blastoise this time. Let's see what happens. We're going to go three from the back. We are three hollows in. Probably about a quarter of the way through this booster box. So I feel like we're probably about on point here. We have a Jinx. Our first Dugong, number 25 in the set. About 100 bucks in a 10, 50 in a 9. Holly Royal, number 38 in the set. Holly Royal, about 50 bucks in a PSA 10 as well. We get the Gold Picks again. We got a Sand Shrew. Pidgey. Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill Nye, the science guy. We got a Voltorb. Psychic energy, lightning energy. Justin, first pack, the Blastoise is going to be. Oh, it's a last non-hollow rare trainer card. Last and first edition Shadowless used to be the most difficult card for a non-hollow rare, and I think it was like the most expensive first time. Um, and you gotta think, like five years ago too. So maybe four or five years ago, we got the last. Trainer non hollow. I'm actually curious what last is going for in unlimited nowadays. Um, about a hundred bucks in a 10. Okay, all right, Les. I'm gonna put you to the side, but we do have our Venusaur pack artwork. There's three different pack artworks in the original base set Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. Justin, pack number two. Let's get it. And by the way, if you guys hang out to the end of the stream, as always, I will announce the next opening. If you guys hang out here, you'll see what it is, and it goes up on the pokecave.com. Either way, I'd love for you to come back here on Tuesday and watch it. As a matter of fact, come back here every day. Hit the notification bell. So you get notified for all the live streams and all the uploads. Energy retrieval number 81 in the sets. Energy retrieval. About 50 bucks in a PSA 10, 25 and a 9. Ivysaur! Alright, I think that's our first one today. Number 30 in the set, Ivysaur. About $70 in a PSA 10. We'll take it. I think Ivy, you know, no, wait a second. I think I looked at the wrong line. That can't be right. That's an Ivy sword. Number 30. Oh, number 30 in the set. I think I, got, I think I might have looked at the wrong spot or something was wrong on that one. If you guys want to check Ivy sword PSA 10, let me know in the chat. I feel like that's got to be more than that. Pokemon flute. Got a Metapod. Diglet dig, diglet dig. Ponyta. Pulling a bunch of commons that we haven't seen yet. Gust of wind. Tangela! That was like a spree of like six cards that we haven't hit yet. Got a lightning energy. Got a fire energy. 
Sinister Prop says, I smell the smoke, Reb. I think we got a Zard here. Well, we got fire. We got smoke. Justin. Oh, Pokemon Breeder. That was not your time, dude. Well, we got two rare non holo trainer cards, unfortunately, out of those packs for Justin. Appreciate you jumping in, um, Justin, on this opening. The last in the Pokemon Breeder. Of course, all the other non holos I'm going to sleeve those up now because they're all... As you guys have seen throughout this opening, all have definitely a value to them. Again, you got to remember a couple of things if you are looking to grade cards. Um, well, if you're going with PSA anyway, they're pretty much closed. Nobody really knows when they're going to be accepting again. Um, and as of now, the price has jumped. It's like more than double to $20 a card. Uh, nobody knows if that's going to go up again even more. Just keep that in mind. I think Beckett even closed recently too. If anybody knows, let me know. And then... There's also CGC. CGC is super, super tough on the Greeks. Super tough. Apparently, he dropped me as a member when I went to join the video, asked me to rejoin to get my perks back. No brainer. No. <laughs> no worries, Ben. The OG. The OG. Pokedean, welcome back. I must have dropped you as well, dude. I appreciate it. Representing that bronze alien squad. A lot of people think it's red. It's, it's actually, it's supposed to, well, probably is red. It's supposed to be bronze, but that's that's how it came out when I got it. I was like, that's good enough then. <laughs> it looks red. It looks pretty cool, though. <laughs> Pulled the shiny VMAX Zard today. It only took me three months. Yo, that's awesome. Congratulations. When you hold it in hand, it's different than seeing it online. You gotta, you gotta hold it in your hand to really appreciate the godly VMAX Charizard. Next up, we have Dustin H. 10298. Dustin. One single pack, but it is the Chazad. The Chazad. Hello, Poke for Poker Rev. Can't believe you're doing base set with the alien. Harvey just says, I love bacon. Harvey loves bacon. Pokedon says, wait, it's bronze? Yes, this whole time, it's supposed to be bronze. But it looks red. <laughs> All right. Dustin. Charizard. Pack artwork. It just got really intense right now with the music. All right. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's like super epic right now. All right. Uh, is the music going to correlate to this pack? Dustin? It just got super intense right now. Dustin! Your pack. The Charizard pack artwork. I have to be like a movie trailer guy now. Growlithe. Duga. We got a Haunter. Ooh, Haunter's actually really good. Number 29 in the set. Haunter. About 100 bucks in a 10. 30 in a 9. We got a Metapod. Nidoran. Switch Ruski. Got a Diglett. Magnemite. Fighting Energy. Psychic energy. Oh, what is happening with the trainer non hollows? Dustin, scoop up non hollow rare out of your rare slots. Mm. Non hollow rare out of that one. Dustin, thanks for jumping in. I'm sorry I couldn't pull you a better rare out of that one. The music tricked me. I really thought it was about to like thought it was about to go down. Everything was lining up perfectly. Just got all dramatic, you know. It was a troll. Hogan Dom! Thank you so much for the super chat. Tyler Hendricks beamed me down from his spaceship, said come forth and begin the halftime giveaway. Train young battle. <laughs> Yo, let's do it! Alright, Polka Dom! We'll crush some packs halftime on, on uh, courtesy of Polka Dom. Much appreciate it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Why not, Polka Cave? I appreciate that, Polka Dom. So far, we pulled three hollows out of this booster box. We are pretty much on point, though. Because it's one hollow per three packs. We've opened up two, four, five, six. Seven, eight, exactly nine. We're like literally spot on for the pull rates right now. Started off super strong in the beginning. 
Tomo, you're up next. 102.99. You have two packs, though. The Venusaur and the Blastoise. All right, what's it going to be this time? Venusaur first or Blastoise first? Let me know. Let me know. Guys, we only need 40 more likes to hit 1,000. Let's crush it. Let's crush it. What's up, Zard Lurkin? I see you in chat. Rocket League stuff. Good to see you. Mercy Shadow Gaming. What's this emote about? <laughs> um, Veronica, my wife, used to open up packs um, in the Poke Cave for a little while. I gotta get her back in here. But she used to yawn. Uh, if you've been here for a while, like a long time, you probably remember that. She'd be like just sitting here, open them, and then all of a sudden she'd just start yawning. I'm like, yep. Yeah. She's just like straight up bored of the pack, like, because not pulling anything. So that turned into an emoji. It's like, really? We're that boring? We're that boring? <laughs> but yes, we were apparently. But she had the beginner luck too when she started opening up packs for the first time. Just pulling just crazy stuff for you guys. Maybe we'll get her back in here soon. Venusaur! Is it going to be Venusaur? I don't know. You guys are all over the place. I, I, I think... No, I think actually Blastoise won that. Alright, let's do Blastoise. So far, one Magneton, one Kefleri, one Gyarados. Let's start getting the big hitters. Boss's orders says we got to pull two Charizards tonight. Thank you guys for a thousand likes on the video. I appreciate it. Kakuta Matata. Yo, War Turtle, it's the non-error version. I'm literally going to chase this card for the rest of my life. If you guys don't know, uh, there's an error card. And you, they actually put War Turtle in instead of the Squirtle there. I've, I've, that is a big error. It's not like a, like an ink dot error or like something you know where they spelled something wrong. It was like a, it's a big error. And, and I, I personally, it's my favorite error card of all time. I've never pulled one before. I'm, I don't even think I've seen one get pulled before. It's that tough to pull, uh, but it's a really cool error card if you can pull it. War Turtle number forty-two in the set. About $180 in a PSA 10, about $60 in a PSA 9. Porygon. Polywag. We got Bill. We got an Onyx. Charmander. Good to see you. About time. Number 46 in the set. Charmander. Going for about $185 in a PSA 10 and about $50 in a PSA 9. Charmander. Caterpie. We need more Yugi Cave. I don't know if you've heard. But the rumors are true. Yugi Rev is going to be making his return pretty soon here. Very soon. Lightning energy. Do a kickflip. I can do a kickflip. Oh, what the? Come on. Come on. Tom. All right, all right Tom. You got another pack, though. But these non-hollow trainer rares starting to hurt more and more each time now you did get the war turtle the charmander though which is really good the de-evolution spray non-hollow rare all right we got another pack though Venusaur. war turtle evolves into war turtle Whoa. maybe we'll pull it one day we pulled so many different the the biggest card rare uh error cards that we've never pulled here in the cave is going to be the stage error war turtle and you know what the other one is it's probably just as tough to pull if not even tougher will be the pikachu nice we got a kadabra the pikachu from jungle that was originally a black star promo um but they somehow it got into there nobody knows for sure if it's supposed to be the first ever secret rare so secret that nobody even knew if it was supposed to be in there or not Maybe one day we'll pull that card. Kadabra. Nice. By the way, Kadabra, number 32 in the set. Kadabra goes for about 100 bucks in a 10. Magmar, double colorless. You got a Tangela. Does anybody say Tangela or Tangela? Tangela. Tangela? Tang I've heard both. Squirtle, nice. Big hitter there. We got the potion. Gasoline. We got the grass energy. Lightning Energy, Mad Max, thank you for subscribing. My Funko, thank you for subscribing. The Lightning Energy, yeah. 
Oh, the lightning. It's the Electabuzz. Another non hollow rare. We're definitely due for another hollow here any second. Unfortunately, it did not come out of these two packs for Tom. But thank you for jumping in, Tom. The Electabuzz. Actually, haven't pulled this one yet until now. Number 20 in the set. Electabuzz. About 100 bucks in a PSA 10. We also had the Devolution spray. Those were the two non hollow rares. Um, as for the other stuff, we did get like Charmander, Cadaver, Squirtle. Uh, I'm trying to think. But I am going to sleep these ones up. Uh, really quickly here before we move to the next person. And Deadbeat, thank you for the super chat. How do I participate in your openings? So all you have to do is hang out to the end of the stream here. And at the very end, I will announce um, next week's opening. So as soon as I show it on there, it goes up on the pokecave.com. Every Tuesday, we have old school vintage booster box openings. As well as sporadically, randomly, I do have pop-up live openings, which... Keep an eye out, okay? If you're not on the email list, make sure you sign up. If you guys are on the email list, you probably already know some of the uh, emails that have gone out recently. But if you're not on the email list, all you have to do is head over to thepokecave.com. When the thing pops up, put your email in there. Uh, I'm going to have a pop-up opening. I don't know when, but it will be for Chilling Rain. It might even be tomorrow. So you really want to sign up for that if you would like um, a shot of jumping in on that opening. But yeah. That is another way to jump in. So emails at the end of the live streams. Um, oh, and I have a new way of jumping in on openings, actually. There's a new page on the PokeCave.com. You click on at the top, click on Sealed Packs. And uh, there was a big, big restock there. So you could actually choose if you want your pack sent out to you sealed or if you want to open up on the channel. Um, I have a whole video that kind of goes over all that. So make sure you check that out as well. So those are the various ways to jump in. And that's brand new, actually, as of, like, a little less than a week ago. And if you have jumped in on those, I do have those videos coming out shortly. It takes a little... It's a little bit of a process. I have to film them, then they get edited, and then eventually they get scheduled and uploaded. So it could take a couple weeks, but uh, those are going to be dropping shortly here. Some craziness, by the way. If anybody was in on those, it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, some of the stuff that went down. But anyway, I'm going to get back on track here. Just leave those up. We have Anthony B up next. 10 300 with one pack. We got the Blastoise. If you guys want to take a peek in this booster box here, um, we're getting there. I mean, the left side, we probably still have about eight packs or so. But we're getting there. 1999. Hi. Just subscribe. Hi. Hi, hi. Thank you for subscribing. Anthony B. Let's get hollow number four out of this booster box. And I want a big hitter. I want a big hitter. I want an OG. Starter. Good luck, Anthony. Starting off with the Kakuna Matata. It means no worries. Super Potion and the Ivysaur is back again. Look at the low res like Bulbasaur that's up there. It's the all green. Doltor. We got a Vulpix. Pidgey. Bulbasaur. Nice, man. 250-ish in a PSA 10 on that one. Sandshrew. Lightning Energy. Psychic Energy. Let's summon a Blastoise out of the Blastoise pack for Anthony B. Oh, my. We got to turn this around, chat. We got to turn this around. I can't take these non-hollow rare trainer cards they're taking over the cave it's like an army of them gold actual says i love me some base set computer search it's cringy when i say big hitter what should i say the banger Bulbasaur. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we gotta we we gotta do something about. We gotta do something about the non hollow trainers. I know the rares are the non hollow rares have been hurting lately. <laughs> All right, so Kakuna, Ivysaur. And Bulbasaur. We were so close to the Venusaur. So close to the Venusaur. 
That would be a sick evolution line to get. I've never done that before. <laughs> James. Okay. We'll call it the, the, the big of the bat. <laughs> I like big hitter. <laughs> All right. I'm so excited that you replied that you love my bacon comment. Harvey, I'm going to take it one step further. I love you. All right. Paul S. 10301. <laughs> Jimmy. I don't know. Jimmy's like, Jimmy, come on. Switch the cameras up. Let's get serious. Thank you. Let's get serious. Paul. Charizard. Pack artwork. Jack, thank you for subscribing. Leo, thank you for subscribing. All right, Paul. Um, now we're a little bit behind on the hollows, so we should be picking up again. We should be picking up again. Three hollows out of here so far. Remember, there's usually around 12 hollows or so out of these old school booster boxes. So if you guys did, honestly, if you just joined up right now, you're still, like, you're pretty much on time. We pulled three hollows out of here. Magneton, Clefairy, and Gyarados. Uh, plenty left to see out of here. We gotta revive a Polyworld. Super Potion. Got a Magnemite. Squirtle is back again. Nidoran. Caterpie. We have a Switcherooski. That's probably cringe for that person. Psychic Energy. Fire Energy. And. We got fire. We got smoke. Paul. We got a Blastoise Hollow hit out of that pack. One pack. Magic baby! Oh! Woo! I always gotta look for errors on the Blastoise. We got him! A big, big hitter! The Blastoise! Woo! Hoo -hoo -hoo. Yo! Yo! Ooh, that looks good. That looks good, like at a quick glance. Not even like investigating it very closely. That looks good. There's so many different versions of this card where you can get errors. Um, you can have it with the no stage error, it's, or you can have the, the red dot error, stuff like that. We don't have an error on here, it's just a good old-fashioned, beautiful OG 1999 Blastoise. I see the waves in the chat, let's get it. Alright, close up on this one. Let's take a peek here. Man, first of all, we don't have to worry about centering on pretty much most of the, the hollows that we pulled out. Actually, I think pretty much all of them. Centering is good. If you guys don't know what that means... The yellow borders around here, you want them all to be as even as you can get, and they've been really good, which is a good sign. The next thing you want to look for is the hollow. That's where it can get tricky sometimes. You want to make sure there's no print lines or scratches. And we do have a faint print line going right in that same spot. It's been every card, that same spot, but it's always been very faint. This one's a little bit more visible than the last few, but it's very faint. In the back. We do have a speck of whitening right there. But overall, I'm very happy with how these are coming out. I would say these all been pretty much a safe nine. The Blastoise. You might be, you might be a little... I think you could probably pull like a 9-5 Beckett. I think you could probably pull a 9-5 Beckett on this one. Oh, and let's check out the pricing. Blastoise, dude. Come on, who, who started with Squirtle? Who, who started with Squirtle back in the day? Number two in the set. So if it was a 10, it goes for around 2,800. A nine for around $600. Excuse me. So a nine five would be somewhere in the middle of that, I would think. Man, Paul, pulling out the biggest hollow hitter so far here. Hollow number four, we're turning this thing around. We're turning this thing around, let's go. What's the hollow pull rate on this set? So, the pull rate, um, and by the way, you got the Squirtle to go with it. You got Squirtle, you got Blade. Oh, that was close, actually, now that I think about it. How cool would that have been if we had the War Turtle in there, too? Um, you get around one, about one hollow per every uh, three packs. Then overall, you should have about 12 hollows per booster box. It does vary, though. So you can have a little more, which we actually saw in a recent stream. Sometimes you can have a little less. Sometimes you can have a good amount more, like a couple more. It's usually right around 12. A lot of times it's pretty much on point. All right. Well, we got one of the biggest hitters in this set, the Blastoise. How can you not love Blastoise? 
the king of the water. Paul, oh, congratulations. All right. Paul, thanks for jumping in. We're going to keep rolling. No more trainer cards. That's right. No more trainer cards. Let's go. He's back. We got Trillix 10302. Good to see you, Trillix. Thank you so much for holding it down in the cave. Trillix, you got one pack. It's the Venusaur. We pulled four hollows so far. We're still looking for Charizard. The boss says we gotta pull two Charizards tonight. But let's do it. We got Blastoise, which I'm super happy about. We got Gyarados. We got Clefairy. We got Magneton. Let's get it. Nova, I appreciate the kind words. We just keep rolling like a golem, as Trainer Trey says in the cave. Phoenix66, thank you as well. Hey, Bogarev, all the luck to the pack buyers. Let's get it. All right. Let's go. We're on the, we're on the road to the Charizards. Trillix, good luck. Let's get another hollow. One, two, three from the back. Still plenty of hollows should be in here. Um, should be, what? Like eight or nine more left here. Probably about eight, maybe nine. Kadabra to start off. Nice hit for an uncommon. Kadabra, number 32 in the set. Um, goes for around 100 bucks in a 10. Pokemon Center. Uh, we have not pulled a Pokemon Center yet, I don't believe. Number 85 in the set. Pokemon Center. Also about 100 bucks in a 10, around 30 in a 9. Growlithe, big hitter there. Number 28 in the set. Growlithe. Growly. About 70 bucks in a 10, 30 to 9. We got our potion. Joe Duo. It's always a really cool OG artwork. Weedle. Charmander, nice hit. Number 46. Good old Charmander is about 180 in a PSA 10. Uh, and about 15 to 9. Breaking in the good non hollows. We got a Tangela. The grass energy. Lightning energy. Arceus. Bless this man with the Charizard. Oh, I'll take it. Zapdos hollow hit. Nice. Hollow number five out of this booster box. Yo, Zapdos, for whatever reason, actually, I, I think I know what the reason is, is um, definitely easier to grade than some of the other hollows in this set. The legendary bird pulling out another big hitter. Woo, number 16 in the set, Zapdos. One of the three legendary OG birds. Goes for around $450 in a PSA 10. Close to $200 in a PSA 9. But there's a few reasons why this grade's a little bit easier than some of the other hollows in the set. For starters, the background is very dark. So even if there is print lines, you usually won't see them. Or very faint ones you won't see anyway. Um, and then centering. For whatever reason, if you got yellow on yellow, a lot of times I, it seems to be that they are easier on the centering because it's harder, it's more difficult to actually see it. But anyway, let's check out this hollow. Pulling out our hollow number five. Oh, see what I mean? This is the one of the only hollows so far that doesn't have like anything wrong with it. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Man, that's beautiful. Let's check the back out. That looks pretty good. This might be like the cleanest that I've seen out of this box. And I've noticed the other thing is for each hollow that we pulled, the energy before it a lot of times has been the energy for the Pokemon, predicting it. Except for the Blastoise was a fire, I believe, before it. All right. Good things come in twos, apparently, because the first two hollows we pulled were the first two packs in a row. And then we got another hollow, and then the next number four and five hollows were back to back. All right, congrats on the hollow hits. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome time hanging out here in the Cape. If you didn't know, every Tuesday, we open up old school Pokemon cards, usually an entire booster box. So next Tuesday, we're gonna be opening up another set. If you hang around to the very end of this stream, I'm gonna show it on the screen. And as soon as it goes up there, they go up on the bookcave.com. 
Never feel like you need to grab a pack. Because the cool part is, you can hang out here and watch the entire thing. Or if you want to be involved even more, you can grab a pack as well. The choice is yours. Michael B. 103? 03, you got one pack. I like what I'm seeing now. Blastoise. Zapdos. Gyarados. I think those were the last three hollow hits. Michael. Let's see what we can do. No matching for the Clefairy Sword. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Rev. My brain.ex stopped working. It definitely happened like three times. Right? Maybe not. Sometimes I make things up in my head. Alright, let's go! <laughs> we have a Growlithe. War Turtle! Nice hit. Growlithe and War Turtle are big hitters. Professor Oak, good to see you. Uh, that's remind that reminds me, we haven't pulled a imposter Professor Oak. Knock on wood. Uh, it's gonna I hope it's not gonna be in here. Number 88 in the set, Professor Oak. Our first one of the day. Let's go. Drowsy. We also haven't pulled a drowsy yet. Potion. Bulbasaur, nice! One of the biggest hitter comments. That and the Pikachu. Onyx. Got a star you. Psychic energy. Alright, Michael. We have three hollows in a row. Oh, Electabuzz! Eh, I told you. Electabuzz! <laughs> Non-hollow rare. Alright. Maybe I'm not as crazy as I think I am. Electabuzz. Unfortunately, it's a non-hollow, but we pulled at least a Pokemon on the rare. I was getting real sick of seeing the trainer non-hollow rares out of there. But unfortunately, we couldn't pull you a hollow, Michael. We are four hollow. I'm sorry, five hollows into this booster box. All right. Dan, yo, I appreciate that. Let's sleeve them up and keep it rolling here, because we still have a little more than half of this booster box left. You guys are just joining up. We have not pulled a Charizard yet. I said A because I have high hopes that we can pull two tonight. Three hollows in a row would have been crazy. If you guys missed the Expedition Japanese Booster Box opening last week, I think we had five hollows in a row. I actually have a highlight video of that coming out where I'm going to show all the big hitters in one just real quick condensed video, like three or four minute video. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. But Glenn, you're up. Glenn! 10304. One pack. And it's the Charizard pack artwork. Come on, buddy. We pulled a Blastoise out of a Charizard pack artwork. Welcome to the room. Smile, Nick. Remember, we're live. <laughs> no Zard. You can't say that. You can't say that after you say no Zard. Or before that. Alright. Maybe he's in here. Ooh. Alright. We're gonna go three from the back. Glenn. Let's get our sixth hop. Man, War Turtle. Uh, big hitter, number 42. I said. Oh, hang on one second. Number 42, about 180 in a PSA 10, 60 to 9. Um, I reacted like that to the War Turtle because for some reason, I don't know what it is, but I can never pull War Turtles out of uh, packs. I don't know why, but all of a sudden today we're making up for it. Hunter! Nice. And Magmar. So those are three on comments. Moving into our comments. Tangela. Matthew, what's going on? Coffee. That's the first coughing. Charmander, big hitter as well. To go with the War Turtle. Sandshrew. Got a lightning energy. We got a grass energy. I'm sorry, I forgot. I can't say big hitter because somebody said that's cringe for them. Oh, it's a Dragonair. All right. Dragonair, non hollow rare. If, again, if you're gonna pull a non-hollow rare, I'll take a Dragonair. Out of anything, I will take a Dragonair for non-hollow rares. It's a gorgeous card. Land, thank you for jumping in. While you didn't get a hollow, at least we got some nice non-hollows like Charmander, Dragonair, War Turtle. Coffee.
All right. I'm your Charizard. Thank you, Lucas. Lucas is our Charizard. <laughs> All right. We are ready to go here, man. And I don't know, like, for the no stage or the um, incorrect stage War Turtle error, if maybe it'll be, like, one of them in an entire booster box or if they'll all be like that. I'd assume they'd all be like that, but you never know. You never know what Pokemon back in the day. So far, we're five hollows in. We're pretty much on point, though, because we're just about halfway through the box, which means half the hollows would be six. Kieran O, 103.05, let's get it. You got one pack. You got one shot. You got one opportunity. This is your time right now, this Venusaur pack artwork. I'm feeling good about this one. I'm gonna make a bold predicament right now. Predict, prediction. Um, there's gonna be Charizard in here. Kieran, I'm calling him Charizard. I make one bold, bold prediction. It's this pack right here. Kieran, I'm calling the Charizard. I'm calling the Charizard right now. Let's see if it works. Three from the back. Good luck. Starting off with the Pokedex. I don't think we pulled this one yet either. 87. This is the OG Pokedex, which says there's only 151 Pokemon. Kadabra. Nice. Nidorino. Got a Sand Shrew. And Pidgey. Bill, Bill, Bill. Voltorb. I feel like Bill and Voltorb hang out too much in these packs. Coughing. Got a Lightning Energy. We got a Psychic Energy. And the Fire. Oh, I felt the Fire Presence. Nine Tails. Hollow hit for Kieran. <laughs> Man, these are coming out nice on the centering. Wow. No hollow uh, coming through the sides on these two, which is also a really good thing. Means the blades were probably pretty sharp. So there's no chipping on there. Man, the OG Nine Tails is going to be our hollow number six out of this booster box. Heating it up in here. I felt it. As soon as I picked it up, I felt the flame. A little less of a heat than the Charizard, but it's st I still... Felt the, I felt the fire in that pack. Nine tails. I was on the right track on that one. So give me that. <laughs> um, but nine tails. That looks good on this one. Nine tails is number 12 in the set. And in a PSA 10, goes for about 400 bucks. About 208 PSA 9. Let's go. And thank you to everybody that's been subscribing throughout this live. I appreciate the support. Ooh, looks good. Okay, so... I don't see any print lines, but you see that right up there above that tail? It looks like I'm not going to touch it, but I believe that that is actually not on the card. Like, well, it's on the card, but not, like, I think that can come off. I think that's like a little piece of, uh, like a part of like the card that chipped off or like another part of the card that chipped off. I've seen those before. I'm definitely not going to touch it. Um, that would definitely be your call if you want to try to take that off yourself. But other than that, this is pretty flawless. Nine tails. Pretty flawless to me. Kieran! I felt the fire for you. We got the fire going here. You promised a Zard! <laughs> Says Tyler. <laughs> PokerRev, how do you subscribe? <laughs> well, if you guys um, like to see the numbers go up live, it's kind of cool. If you do hit the subscribe... It's backwards for me. If you do hit the subscribe button um, right there, your name should pop up, and the number will go up. Sometimes it takes like 30 seconds though after you do it. Right now we're on the road to 400,000 subscribers, a number that I never thought in my entire lifetime I would ever be saying, but we're on the road there, and we're getting closer and closer, so everybody that hits the subscribe button gets us one step closer, so I appreciate the support, everybody. If you guys are new here to the Poke Cave, I think we've been going for about a year and a half. It was like just the other day, but it's been about a year and a half since the channel started up, and it's been the best year and a half of my life. I mean, it's been so fun to be able to do this with you guys. So let's 
keep it going. We have Joe M up next, 10306. Six hollows in. We're pretty much like spot on right now because we're just about getting to the halfway point here. Um, Elon Musk throwing in for the giveaway too. Let's get it. Yo, I appreciate it, brother. Elon Musk always throwing the support in. Um, let's do it. We're coming up on a halftime thing here in just a second. Nah, I'm gonna just keep saying it till you pull it. Welcome to the rooms. Nah, I'm gonna keep I'm just gonna keep saying it. Yo, Slavensky Entertainment, good to see you again. What up, Rev? Hope all is well. I hope all is well with you. Uh you too. Good to see you. Good to see everybody here. Alright, is this officially the halfway pack? Yes, it is. Alright, it's a Blastoise Joe. Halfway right there. Alright. Good luck, Joe M. May the pools be with you. It counts but doesn't show names. You know what? Like sometimes it breaks and then it just starts working again randomly. I think you got actually I think if too many people do it, it just breaks. It's just like, nah, I'm not gonna just show anybody's name anymore. Which kinda is unfortunate. But then it starts working again randomly. I gotta get Jimmy to fix that one of these days. Best pool tonight so far, I would definitely have to go with the Blastoise Hollow. Or the $30,000 Bulbasaur. We got a Nidorino plus power and a magic card for the uncommons. And there it is. The, the names are starting to uh, show up. Thank you, Young Alpha, for subscribing. Brett, thank you for subscribing as well. Bulbasaur, just like that, baby. Pulling Bulbasaur's left. Yo! All right. I'll lose my mind if we can get a Charmander or a Squirtle behind there. If it's a Charmander, that would be, like, perfect. That's sick. Or if we can get it. Honestly, if we get a Charmander coming up at all out of the commons. We've got two more commons in here. Oh, drowsy. Come on, let's get all three. Let's, let's do a throwback to Gen 1. Oh, Ara. I think I've only seen that happen like one time, maybe. The psychic. The water. Fire Jimmy and give Timmy the job. <laughs> all right, Joe. Halfway. Hiccup still. <laughs> oh, Pokemon Breeder. All right, Joe. Thanks for jumping in. We got the OG starters. We were just missing the Charmander in there. Just missing the Charmander. Gonna sleeve these up really quickly, and we're gonna do a quick halftime thing. Quick halftime thing going down in the cave. Uh, courtesy of Poke Dom and Elon Muck. Let's do it. Let's make it a giveaway. I gotta see what I got. All right, so anybody watch Nintendo Direct today? What'd you guys think? I watched it. Any Zelda fans? All right, that's going in. And let's go. We're officially halfway through, and we're honestly we're spot on with the pull ratios. Uh, if you go halfway through a box and you pull six hollows, that's literally spot on. Twelve in a box, halfway through it. And there it is. That's the other half there. Let me grab a couple things. Uh, for starters, we gotta get some evolutions. What else? What else we got here in the poker team? What else can we find in the poker team? We also have... We also have this will be cool. We also have that would be pretty cool. These would be pretty cool too. Alright, let's do this. This looks this looks like a pretty good lineup. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Let's do one of these too. Why not? All right, let's go. Wait. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do this. All right, I got some more goodies. We got an evolutions pack. We got a burn in shadows. We got a darkness ablaze. Dragon majesty. I literally haven't opened this up in like 10,000 years. Cosmic eclipse. It's from a blister, so that's why it has that stuff on the top there because they 
mess those up. Long story short, and another evolution. Let's do it, bro. Let's do it. This will be a giveaway. At the end of this live stream, what you got to do is just leave a comment in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as well. And make sure you subscribe because I want this to go out to a subscriber. Uh, but one person will win all this. Uh, whatever we pull out of here. Whatever we pull. You guys saw what we did a Platinum Supreme Victor's Blister Pack opening. And the winner got a Shiny as well as a Charizard Level X. And I sent that out. Was it today? Yes, today I sent that out uh, to the winner. So they were super, like, super excited. Like, they couldn't believe it. And I, just, I was emailing them. I was like, dude, you literally got the best giveaway we've ever had in the cave. Like, it was insane. Was, and I put the video up yesterday of that highlight of pulling that card, if you guys haven't seen it yet. It's like a 40-second video, but it's like 40 seconds of just pure insanity. But anyway, uh, we're going to do this. So, yeah, make sure you leave a comment, like the video, make sure you subscribe. Random winner goes in the random comment picker. You have to make sure you leave a comment because uh, the random comment picker picks a comment randomly. Why it's called the random comment picker. I know it's crazy, right? Anyway, let's go. Evolutions. And yeah, it doesn't. The live chat comment it won't count because um, it only picks from the comment section, which opens up at the end of the uh, the end of the live stream. All right, let's go. Um, three. I don't know. I'm not even gonna try to do card tricks on these because they change from generations. Polyworld. Oh, uh, it's kind of like we're doing base again, but it's <laughs> evolutions. It's the super updated 2016 version. Growlithe Ghastly. We got a Charmander. A rat ta 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 Farfetch'd is our reverse. And Eradicate. The rat ta turned into Eradicate. All right. So, we need more sleeves. Stat. Thank you, Sir Jimmy. Pack number one's done. Cosmic Eclipse. Bring us the goods. Give us a tag team. Everybody that's saying, can I win, please? Can I win, please? Make sure you just do what I said <laughs> a little bit earlier. I'll, I'll say it again after we open the packs up. Uh, so you guys have a reminder there on what to do. Earlier, we got a Bisharp. Very cool. We got a Rowlet. Magnemite, Lillipup, Trap Inch, Cosmog, our reverse, and a Dust Noir Hollow. All right. Starting off a little slow here, but let's pick it up with Dragon Majesty. I don't even remember uh, what's in this set. It's been so long since I've opened this one up. What, you, what year is Dragon Majesty? 2018? Really? Why do I feel like that's... It was older than... Eh, I guess 2018 is kind of a while ago. I guess it is kind of a while ago, Poke Cave. Alright, let's go. Crazy one-pack magic of, as of late. Yeah. Dratini! Random comment picker, I choose you! <laughs> Crocodile, dude. Gen 2. We got Dragonair. Dragon Talon. Oh, is that the rare? Wait, what was the rare? What was the rare? Do you not get a rare in every pack on this? Oh, dude, wait. I just passed this. I don't know how that happened. But uh, we got a for Alligator Hollow. That's sick. Dude, that's like the Gen 2 Neo. Ooh, that's my favorite hit so far. Darkness Ablaze. I don't know. We've been doing... I've been doing one-pack Charizards all week. Level X Charizard. Shiny Charizard. VMAX. Maybe we'll get some more Charizards out of here. Whatever else I pulled, I don't remember. Let's go. Darkness Ablaze. Let's get it. It was a green code card. So I don't know. Me, McHugh, and a Water Energy. Alright. Burning Shadows is another chance to pull the Charizard. It's probably the most difficult Charizard to pull. Open base set. Patience. A couple minutes. Less than a couple minutes. We're jumping back into it here. Oh, well, where's our hits here? Does our luck drain out? We got evolutions to end this. I'll remind you guys how to jump in on the giveaway, too, if you'd like. Um, come on. Give us a last pack, some last pack magic here. All right. Ooh, Charizard Spirit Link. I call upon the... Hollyworld Maintenance, Hollywag, Seal, Magikarp, Lightning Energy, Caterpie, Nidoran Reverse with the Psychic type, come on. Oh, what do gone? All right, well, we got a handful of hits here. Actually, my favorite is definitely that for Alligator Hollow. Nidoran Reverse, Farfetch Reverse, for Alligator, as well as all the other cards that we pulled out of there. Um, it's going to get given away. So all I got to do is smash like. Make sure you're subscribed. And then leave a comment 
in the comment section once the video ends. Just refresh the video once it ends, and uh, it will. The comment section will open up. All right, let's go. Can't talk today. Base set. Jumping back into it. Thank you again. There was that threw in for that. Super kind of you guys. Austin T10307. Thank you for your patience as we jump into the right side here. Still should be around. Uh, told you I can't talk. Still should be around six hollows remaining out of here. All right, let's get it, Polka Cave. Austin, good luck as we jump back into this base set. Booster box. I'm having a good time, man. I, I tell you guys what. I always look forward to Tuesdays. All week. I'm like, oh, is it Tuesday yet? Is it Tuesday yet? Plus power. We got a Growlithe. And an Arcanine. Let's go. You know you do a Pokemon right when you have both the non-evolved version, the basic, and then the evolved. That's pretty awesome Pokemon. Energy removal. Don't do it. Metapod. Got a Ghastly. Charmander. I'm looking at you, Charmander. Grass energy. Psychic energy. And patience is the key to opening base that says Rock Sandy. Patience. And then you'll pull Charizard. Or Venusaur! Yo! Our second fully evolved starter Pokemon Venusaur in the game! Holy cow, yo! The Beast of Flower is officially here! Oh, yo, look at that. That's his, that's his brother right there. That's his brother right there. Excited to see him. Yo, we got the Blastoise. We got the Venusaur. Woo! You can't beat a good old Venusaur. That's sick. Yo, and I'm telling you guys, every card that's come out of here, this centering has just been pretty much on point. That's sick. All right, so Venusaur number 15 in the set. Uh, worth around $1,400 in a PSA 10, around $700 in a PSA 9. Yo, we're doing it. We're making it like... Okay, we start off the booster box. We hit two hollows right off the bat, um, which were like decent hollows. Then we had like a dry streak for a while. Pulled a Gyarados, which hyped us up again. Then we went on a super long dry streak again. Then we pulled two crazy hollows, um, the Blastoise being one of them, um, and then Ninetales. And the Zapdos. Then, we come back on the right side, pull the Venusaur. Charizard. Oh yeah, let's check it out. Um, so actually on this one, the top and the bottom is actually a little bit off now that I look at it. See that? The bottom looks like a little thicker. It doesn't have to be perfect to be PSI 10. Um, so you can have 60-40, uh, I believe it is, on the centering. So which means 60% more could be on one side. Then the and 40 on the other side, that's like the maximum. The back, though, you can have like 70 30, which is like pretty off and it'd still be fine. Um, but let's check the hollow out. Let's just check the hollow out. That's gonna be the main thing that we're looking at right now. Now, luckily, Venusaur takes up most of the card, so there's not a ton of hollow to mess up here. Okay, we do have a little tiny print line right there, it's in that same spot as most of the other ones that had it. Right there, you see that? There's actually two on this one. Probably would hold it back from a 10. Venusaur pack fresh though. Going in. I think it's like seven and 700 in a PSA 9. Um, let me sleep up the rest of these. We also did get the Charmander non-hollow. That was a very good pack. Austin, congrats. rat a tad a tad Better than Venusaur. It says NRG. How can you argue with that one? All right, this is turning into a pretty good box now. Start off the right side with a Venusaur. Let's go. Yep, yeah, we need one more for all three of the big three. We need the Charizard. We got the Blastoise. We got the Venusaur. Some other highlights, definitely the Gyarados. Nine tails, Zapdos. Josh W, 10308, you're up. One pack, and it's the Charizard. What are the odds we pull a Charizard out of the Charizard pack artwork? Where are the math whizzes? The professors? 
What are the odds? <clears throat> uh, Welcome to says, who won the Zard giveaway? By the way, no Zard? Question mark. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. You always got to remind me that we haven't pulled the Zard yet. Um, so I believe his name was Joe C. I don't remember the exact uh, spelling of the last name, but if you go to last week's live video, I think that's in the description, had all the winners listed there. Um, whenever I post the winners, I put them on my Instagram story, as well as in the description of that video. Um, so, or the following video when I announce it. So all the winners list down there, but uh, it was someone it was, it was someone named Joe C. I don't remember how to say the last name, because I don't want to mess it up. Uh, but he was super excited, he emailed me, and uh, got him squared away with it. And I don't know if he's going to grade it or not, but he like could not believe it. Josh, W, let's get it. Let's make the coincidence happen here and just pull Charizard as we're talking about it. Alright. <laughs> Defender. <laughs> Pokedex. Seal. We got a coughing. Ponyta. Machop. I feel like we haven't pulled a Machop yet. Star you. Metapod. Get the lightning. Come on. 1,554.3. 1, that sounds pretty much spot on. Fire. We got the smoke. We got the fire. We got... Oh, Beedrill! I actually forgot Beedrill was even in this set because we haven't seen it until now. Beedrill non holo rare, man. The fire energy trolling us sometimes. Beedrill non holo. Josh, thank you for jumping in. I'm sorry we completely holo out of there. What are we at now? I think we're at seven hollows. We should have at least five more hollows out of this box. Thank you guys for being a little patient after each pack, because I do, uh, I just like to sleep up all the non hollows at, at this point with Pokemon and how the places are and everything, just to make sure everything is super perfect. Like so. Alright, Josh. Thank you for jumping in. Next up, Lewis P. 10309. You got one pack. Charizard pack artwork again. Again. It has to be a sign. Come on. This has to be a sign. Lewis. May the pools be with you. Starting off with a far fetched. Nicholas, thank you for subscribing to the channel. To the Poga Cave. Arcanine. We got maintenance. Colin, thank you as well. Ocean. Got our Doe Duo. Weedle. Charmander, there we go. With a simple scratch. Still a beast. Tangela. We got the psychic energy. The fighting energy yet! Man, what Clefairy doll? <laughs> Clefairy doll. Not even a Clefairy to give us a doll of the Clefairy. Like, here you go. Here's your rare. Uh, we couldn't get you a Clefairy Hollow. We couldn't get you a regular Clefairy. But we could get you a Clefairy doll. All right, Lewis. Thanks for jumping in. No hollow out of that one. We got two non-hollow rares in a row that we haven't pulled yet. I'm really surprised that we haven't seen Imposter Professor Oak. That card always seems to just appear in the cave. Maybe he got sick of us. That would be good. Hey, Jay, what's up, dude? My childhood, 1999. AJ in the cave. All right. Well, maybe AJ can bring us some luck here. You've done it before. If I do recall correctly, a Chonkachu appeared one time. So let's get a Chaza. Gerardo, 103.10. We pulled Blastoise. We pulled Venusaur. We gotta get Charizard. We have to get Charizard.
Gerardo. Venusaur pack out. Last time I had a Venusaur pack, and I said there was going to be Charizard in it, it was a nine tip. Maybe this time would be the Charizard. Feel presence in this pack. I think we're about to have some, some magic's about to happen right now. Charmeleon, massive hitter. Kadabra, far fetched. Three uncommons. Drowsy. Got a potion. Bulbasaur. 250 PSA 10. Got an Onyx. A Staryu. A simple Staryu. Lightning. Water. Oh, dude! I can just... I'm telling you, I can... I can feel the warmth of the pack, man. That's the second time I did that. When I said there's gonna be a Charizard, I've only made two calls in this box. And it was on two Venusaur packs, I said there's gonna be a Charizard. I just feel the heat, man. It's weird. It's his another Nine Tails, but we'll take it. It's a hollow hit, man. A hollow Nine Tails out of another Venusaur pack. Beautiful hit, man. Perfectly centered on that thing. The Nine Tails. Our first. Double up. Nine tails. 400 PSA 10. Man. And it's that same that same spot. How weird is that? That same spot on most of the cards, if they're gonna have one, it's right there. Super, super faint. That's the second time. And that was the second time. That I felt the fire presence. Thinking it was a Nine Tails. Or thinking it was a Charizard. And it being a Nine Tails. Charmeleon's another big hitter out of that pack. Yeah, a lot of big hitters. That was a really good pack, Gerardo. The Kadabra was another really big hit. Um, you also had the Bulbasaur. That was another big hit. That was a really good pack. We're revving it up in here. That we are. All right, let's keep it rolling. Should still have around four more hollows. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Poker Dog, what's up? Bring the heat. Let's do it. Um, Kieran O'Sullivan, thanks for bringing the fire up. Not sure if you do this sort of thing, but would love if you could sign the Kadabra. I got you, Kieran. Of course. Absolutely. Thanks for jumping in. Um, you had the. Did you have the other one? Yeah, you were the you had the other nine tails. Absolutely, I got you. Alright. Let's keep going. Comic JD, thank you for the super chat as well. Sorry guys, I'm super backed up on uh, super backed up on the super chats. <laughs> Didn't say that on purpose. <laughs> Comic JD says, "Yo, super cool to see this open live. You're killing it. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here, Comic JD." George, yo, good to see you. These packs take me back to '99. I could I could feel like I'd smell the cards as you open the packs. Let's see the Zard. You literally can. That's the crazy part about it. Smell is another super powerful sense for nostalgia first time I opened up an old pack again probably about five six years ago the second you opened I opened it up and I smelled the cardboard I couldn't believe how it took me back like if I closed my eyes I've literally it just took took me right back so it was the weir weirdest thing ever to experience all right we got Blastoise we got Venus we need Charizard We need Charizard. 
Allen N. 103 11. One pack. The Charizard artwork returns. Let's go. Poke Kobe. What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Poke Kobe. Three from the back. Get those pools, Rev. Those swimming poles. Defender. Wait, Allen N. You were in this earlier, weren't you? Allen N. Allen. You were. You were like the third person. All right, let's get you a hollow now. Defender. Hot, hot, hot. We got a magic heart. Nice on commons there. We got Weedle. Weedle. Sandstrom. Coffee. Metapod. Yo, Pikachu, about time. We actually, I think we only pulled like one or two other Pikachus. Um, this card's like $250 in a PSA 10. I think about 109. Ooh, the lightning. That's the yellow cheeks. The fire now. Alan. Do I, do I feel a presence in this pack? I'm not sure. The fire energy's throwing me off. I feel the heat from the fire energy. I don't know if there's more. Oh, Pidgeotto. Another non hollow rare that we actually haven't pulled yet. Pidgeotto. When will this be over, says Clara? When we open that last pack up. Clara's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> um, but no, I think we have what? It's gotta be like probably at least 12 packs right there. It take a little bit longer to get through these openings, um, just because after each pack I do sleeve up each non-hollow, just because I have to make up for my cards as a kid, how I took care of those. My life's quest to sleeve every card, kind of like AJ, just gotta sleeve it, that's all you can do. Alright, Alan. Tin foil hat time, dude. I don't have a tin foil hat anymore. I used it to barbecue my ribs. All right, <laughs> Dylan A. One hundred three twelve is going for two. Two. All right. Charizard and Venusaur. Blue eyes, white Zard yet? Not yet. All right. Let's do it. Why exactly is a PSA 6 EX excellent to mint and not an EX to near mint instead of considering that a PSA 7 is near mint followed by PSA? That's a good point. Followed by PSA 8 near mint to mint. Maybe they just ran out of like text? No, wait, that doesn't make sense because they would have put NM instead of MT. That's actually a really good question, Firehawk. It doesn't make sense if you think about it though. Hmm. That's a good point. All right, chat. We doing the Venusaur pack first or the Charizard? You guys got to tell me. Tell me. What are we doing? Darren, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Nova, thank you for the super chat. Nova says, someone said if you can show us the greatest Charizard in the background. You got this, man. Oh, dude. Thanks for looking out. I can definitely do that. Sorry, if you're in the chat, I miss a lot of it. I do go back and read through it. Um, but during the live... Just goes so fast that I can't see everything. But I appreciate everybody, and I hope you're having a fun time. Let's look at it real quick while you guys tell me which pack. Is it a, a ten for Steam? It's the Japanese Charizard. And the, the one thing I really like about the Japanese old school cards is the hollow pattern, and like the actual hollow itself just it just has so much like shine to it, and just so much going on. There's more hollow like pattern. If that makes sense. Zard, Venusaur, Zard, 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 last Venusaur, Zard, 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 Anytime you guys tell me to take something off, there we go. My OCD will kick in if I get glare. 
Well, there's glare on some of this stuff. It's hard to, it's hard to avoid it. All right, Charizard first. Come on. Remember, we pulled a Blastoise out of a Charizard pack. We pulled two Nine Tails out of a Venusaur pack. So either one, I think we can get something. Okay, Dylan A. Two packs. Starting with the Jinx. Ivy Sword. Nice hit. Maintenance. Good job. Drowsy. Energy removal. Tangela. Got to star you. Lightning energy. Lightning energy. Oh. Imposter Professor Oak taking a stab at me already. All right. Can't look this guy in the face. Imposter Professor Oak. Pack number one. Dylan, we still have one more pack. The redemption round. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I see you. Welcome to the room. <laughs> Show us your great shiny V Max Zard. I would if I had a shiny V Max Zard. <laughs> Chance. Thank you. Give a shout out to Amar. What's up, Amar? Thank you for watching. Chance, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for being here. All right. That was a, that was two two shots at once from Welcome to the Room and then the Imposter Ochre at the same time. All right, we got to make up for it now. Venusaur. Come on. All right. Oh, nice start, War Turtle. I think I was like 180 in a PSA 10. That's a really big um, uncommon hit there. Seal. Got to revive. I got a mid-pack rehydrate. Alexi mate. Good to see you back. Caterpie. Gust of Wind. We got a Bulbasaur. We'll take that. Squirtle. All right. Are we out of commons? There might be one more. Yeah. Oh, it's the Drowsy. All right. Bulbasaur and Squirtle sticking together. Come on. Poke Cave. We've been here before. We've had our backs against the Poke Wall. Just trying to pull a Zard. I think we can do it. Dylan. Oh. Oh, man. Super Energy Removal is our non hollow rare trainer card. No hollow out of the two. Dylan. I'm sorry we couldn't pull you a big kidder out of there. Dylan, we got the super energy removal. We got the imposter. It hurts to say that one. Professor O. Imposter. Professor. Alright. Let's shake it off. We got more packs. If there's still packs in the box, that means we got more shots here. Uh, we pulled a Magnetite. We pulled a Clefairy. We pulled Gyarados. We pulled Zapdos. We pulled Blastoise. We pulled Ninetales. And we pulled Venusaur. We have some big hitter hollows. All right. I see a lot of people joining in right now. I appreciate the support. Um, if this is your first time here, yes, we're really opening up a booster box from 1999. It's been sealed for over 20 years. These are the original Pokemon cards that a lot of us grew up with on the playground. I know I did. I know a lot of you guys did. Let's go. I think we gotta hit smash the like button for good luck. Let's get 2,000 likes. Matthew L. 103.13. One pack. One Venusaur pack. Right. Let's go, Venusaur. Where are the rats attached to tats? I know, NRG. Ugh. We pulled like three, maybe. That's not enough to, to, to really crush a rat tat 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 you guys don't know, every time I pull Rattata, I add another tat at the end of it. So sometimes we do openings and I'm like, just saying it so many times. Professor Oak, we got him a choke. The Dugong. We got the Diglett. Rattata, ta ta. I think that's number five. I think that's number five. Ponyta. Starmie. Ooh, star you to Starmie. Star you? No, star me. 
Like, got the grass. Matthew? Beam sword? Grass? Beam sword hollow? <sighs> Pokemon Trader! Non hollow rare. Oof. The Trader. I will trade the far fetch for a Charizard, sir. I hope you take this deal. All right. Let's see how many packs we have left. I think we probably got like four, maybe five hollows left. Maybe three or four. Something like that. Three, four, five. Somewhere in that ballpark. Um, I'm going to sleeve these up. I'm going to see how many packs we have left. And we're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. Let's go. And by the way, if you guys do not know, if you hang out to the end of this live stream, at the very, very end, I will announce the next Booster Box opening, which will take place on Tuesday. But I'll probably have another one before that. Probably will have Chilling Rain. Um, and even possible that it could be tomorrow. I don't know for sure. All right, let's go. Next up we have... On his J10315 with one pack. Let's see how many packs. So we have the Blastoise. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten shots left here. Let's go. That's a good amount of this booster box left. Almost a third left. A little less. We got one pack. It's the Blastoise, so we still got plenty of opportunities. I'm not giving up yet. Heart of the cards, Blake. That's what's up. Heart of the cards. Let's go. Full heal. Kakuna. Got a plus power. Drowsy. Gust of wind. Abra. You got an onyx. If you guys didn't know, there are 102 cards in this set. No secret rares. The secret rares. Weren't even invented yet. You got a Ponyta. All Generation 1, baby. Psychic. Come on, this is 1999. It's the year 2021. We're doing craziness here in the cave. Childhood dream moment is to pull the Charizard. Let's see if we can pull it. With 2,600 people here to witness this thing live. Come on. Oh, Polyrath is our hollow. I actually pulled one of these in a pack that I opened up on my birthday um, about a month ago, a little less than a month ago. Polyrath, definitely not the biggest hitter there, but we got a Polyrath and it's a hollow, and we'll take it. Polyrath number 13 in the set. Uh, about 400 bucks in a PSA 10 on this one. So again, centering is very nice. Let's check it out. Let's check that out. We have in the same spot, man. That is ridiculous. But again, it's like super, super, super faint. But yo, I, I will take a hollow. I will take a hollow. Back looks good, too. What do you guys think? All right. Hollow hit. Holly Wrath. Holly Wag? Holly World. Holly Wrath. Holly Wag! Holly World! Uh oh. The Polyrath fans are getting mad at me because I... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Polyrath fans. I'm getting the pitchforks out. <laughs> Look, all I'm going to say is when you pull Polyrath and you see the blue, the heart drops, the heart definitely skips a beat, and you think for a split second that you might just have a blast list. That's all I'm saying. It's still got the nostalgia. I mean, I pulled a Polyrath as a kid. Right there. <laughs> Stare into its belly. <laughs> I joined late. What hitters did you get? For the OG trio, we got Blastoise. We got Venusaur. And we just want to see if we can get a Charizard to complete that trio. I have faith in the cave.
James Bullock, good to see you. Thank you so much for the super chat. I feel Zard coming. Part of the cards are up. Tell Jimmy I said hey. Jimmy's ground. Jimmy's gonna be grounded if he doesn't change the camera angles pretty soon. Thank you, sir. All right, John D. One of three seventeen. You're up next. Mineral Spawn. Thank you so much. Love your content. Hope you have a good day. I appreciate it. All right, ready, John. The Charizard. Charizard, show yourself. We're getting really getting closer and closer and closer. We got to get all three. We have to complete the trio. It's the childhood dream. Radicate. Charmeleon. All right, beautiful. That's a good start. We just need you to evolve. Super Potion. Diglett. You got a coffee. You got a star. You better start pulling Zards. You're going to get fired, Clara says. I know. It's the boss's orders. Vulpix. Water energy. Lightning energy. Heart of the cards. Oh! Electabuzz, not hollow. We didn't believe. We didn't believe. Electabuzz. Non hollow rare hit. Oh. All right. I think we probably still have seven or eight packs left. I think there's maybe, what, like three hollows left? On average, there should be three left, roughly. This box has been a roller coaster. We, we'll, we'll randomly hit a sweet spot and get like two big hits back to back. Then we'll go on a dry streak. Then we'll hit another two. It's like a roller coaster. Alright. Woo! Some of the big hitters that we ha haven't hit yet, I will tell you right now, Alakazam. Chansey's actually a big, big hitter too. Um, what else? Charizard, of course. Raichu would be sick as well. Um, but we have pulled a lot of big hitter hollows, which include Blastoise. Venusaur, Gyarados, Ninetales two times, um, Zapdos as well. Did I say Zapdos? I think I might have said that already. Um, oh yeah, we need Mewtwo. We need Mewtwo. We need Mewtwo. We need Mewtwo! <laughs> Dante, 103.18! Come on! We still got all these left. Dante, good luck! I might have to go grab sleeves. We're just crushing sleeves like crazy. I never can count enough sleeves. Pokemon Center to start off this pack. The Energy Retrieval. Ratsakit. Nidoran. Switch. Diglett. Magnemite. We got a Caterpie. All right, slow it down, Dante. Let's go. Grass Energy. Ooh, we got like a ink thing going on on this card. See it right up there. Psychic, all-knowing, all-seeing eye. I still think we can do it. I know we can do it. Oh, item finder! Oh. Oh, item finder, why? Why you do this to Dante? We're not looking for items. We're looking for Pokemon. We're looking for Charizard. The biggest hitters I think that we're missing would be... Since we probably have about three hollows left. We're missing Charizard, Mewtwo, and Alakazam. I feel like probably would be the most sought after. But I'll, although Chansey is a really expensive card too because it's super hard to grade in a 10. Um, Alright, alright, alright. I need to... Alright, I have to grab some sleeves. Poke Cave, give me... I have to go deeper into the Poke Cave. Into the dungeon into the creepy crawl spaces. Uh, so if you guys can give me like, literally, give me less than 60 seconds, okay? I'm gonna grab the sleeves because we gotta protect all these cards. And uh, I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. We still gotta see if we can pull this Charizard. 
Uh, you know, actually, I'll leave the music on. I'll leave the screen on. I was going to put an away screen on, but I'll just leave it on so you guys don't, you know, think anything weird going on with the box. It'll be right there. Uh, I'm just going to mute my mic. We'll be right back. Just dance while I'm gone for 60 seconds. Get up and stretch or something. Wait, I'm actually really low on sleeves. Like, dangerously low. If I do a live stream tomorrow, I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough sleeves. Where are we at? We good? Are we still alive? Jimmy, did you fix, did you break this thing? Okay, we're still good. Whew, I thought Jimmy broke something for a second. All right, let's keep rolling. Um, we're moving on to our next person. Dario P10319, let's go. Dario, good luck. We've got the Charizard. Please bring the fire. So, quick recap, um, probably three more hollows, roughly, if I can keep track here. I know somebody in the chat was um, keeping track of it, so I think there should be like three-ish. Oh, wait, no, Polyrath might have been, maybe there's two? Something like that. Let's go. I just want to see some Charizards right now. I'm getting fired tonight. Seal! Chef, what's up, dude? Is the base set first edition booster box sealed in the background? This one's not sealed. Um, this is from the first edition base set booster box opening that we did. I do have a sealed one. I just don't leave it back in the background right here. Got it safe and secure. Uh, but I do have one. But choke, and actually, you will see it in a video coming up, uh, probably within the next couple weeks. We got an Ivy Sword, nice. Energy removal. Yeah, I had to go deep into the Poke Cave to find the sleeves. Honestly, I like was freaking out because I couldn't find any. Uh, but I found like a little backup stash. Abra, Machop. Got the Pidgey. Nidoran. It's got a lightning energy. This is the pack. All right, Dario, apparently this is the pack. This is the pack. Here you go, Charizard. Oh, hit my Chan Hollow. We'll take it. We haven't pulled this one yet. Let's go. Beautiful centering again. Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee? Which one is it? Okay, which one do you choose? Which one do you choose? You always have to choose one of them. Which do you normally go with? Number seven in the set, Hitmonchan. Punching its way in to over four, about $500 in a PSA 10. And about 150 ish in a PSA 9. Hitmonchan! Right here. This is, I don't, I don't care, you know... TikTok versus YouTube. I want to see Hitmonchan in the ring. That's what I'm saying. 
Hitmonchan will be Team YouTube. Hitmonchan will bring it, bring it home. That's who I got. That's who I got in my corner. Hitmon Lee. Hitmon Lee. Hitmon Chan. Chan. We said Jackie Chan. Wait, is it? Do you guys think it's based off of. Wait, Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee? Hitmon Lee, Jackie Chan? Is that like. Wait. Is that like known? I and mean, I'm just not. I just didn't know that. <laughs> or is that like. Let me know. I'm curious. One box, two hours, Z. Well, I'll tell you what, um, Welvin, you can always come back for the highlight reels, which are like probably five or six minutes long. For the live streams, I love to take my time. I love to hang out with you guys um, because it's pretty much the only time we get to do it here. And uh, just sit back, have a good time. I'm not in any rush. I hope you guys aren't either. But um, if you are, you can always watch the highlight reel. Or you can listen to me sound like a chipmunk by putting it speed up to like 2x or whatever. Oh, it is. Somebody else said, wait. See? Rev was today years old when I figured this out. Yes. Okay, so a lot of people actually don't know, but a lot of people a lot of people do. It's very, it's known. Okay. <laughs> I honestly, I think I might have known it and then I forgot. Because a lot of times my brain.ex stops working. And then I like reset it and I lose some of the RAM. Like just like erases some stuff that I knew. I don't know if that happens to any of you guys. It definitely happens to me. So you have to like reset it, and then you know it like wipes all your RAM. So like your your, it's just like I like some of the things just like vanish. But I feel like I did definitely know that, and then I just forgot it. All right, John P. A lot of people also didn't know it, so I guess I'm not the only one. 10320, but I, I definitely admit, I remember now, I definitely did know it. I just had it, it got wiped off of my hard drive. Alright, let's go! John, thank you for waiting two hours. We're finally at your pack. Poka Drew, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Okay. No hurry, I'm always at work during the live streams. Infinite Dark, passing the time. Alright. John. It happens to you too, Arno? Okay. I'm definitely not the only one then. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I'll be like, wait. And then I realize, like, okay, I actually did know that. Alright. Dratini! Horigon! We got a Pokedex. Nidoran! Vulpix. Doduo. We got an Abra. A lot of Johns in the cave. Everybody's like, this is me. <laughs> Belt Silver, Water Energy, Lightning Energy. Oh, Doug Trio, first one of the day. At least it's not a trainer. Doug Trio, non-hollow rare. Oh, man, we're getting we're getting so close. We got we got, we need some like fire coming up. And then by fire, I mean we need to get that Charizard. We're coming down to it, both the cave. Cross your fingers, cross your toes. Kiss your significant other. Gaze up at the stars. Whatever you gotta do, because we need I need everybody to do any kind of good luck things you gotta do. Alright. Low LM 103 21. How many packs we got left here? Two, four, five. Only five more. Oh my gosh. Is this the last Charizard? That's the last Charizard pack artwork. The rest are Venusaur and Blastoise. All right, Charizard. Come on. 
Don't do us like this. Don't do us like this. Alexia's the light rev. Defender! Pokemon Center. War Turtle, nice! Starmie! Bulbasaur, even better! Magnemite! We got a Pidgey! Hollywood. Come on. We can do it. Fighting energy! Water energy! Oh! Computer search! I don't want a computer search! Especially a computer with Windows 2000 on it. That's actually a pretty good monitor for like 1999 now that I think about it. And actually, his artwork was like 96. That computer might be ahead of its time. Oh. Non hollow trainer. Computer search. Just searching in the computer. Tell you what, computer search. I'm gonna go in there. I'll withdraw Charizard. All right. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll deposit a Pidgey. I'll take a Charizard, please. Thank you. Yeah, that is like the third computer search. Bulbasaur was nice. War Turtle was nice. Like no hollow. Charizard pack artworks. Are gone, but that doesn't mean we can't pull a Charizard. You can pull a Charizard out of any pack. You can hear the dial-up though. I, I... <laughs> man, the sound has become nostalgic. Kirk A one hundred three twenty two is Kirk going to be the one to change everything and pull the Charizard? Come on. We got Venusaur. We got Blastoise. We can get all three. That is the ultimate way to start off your games. You just trade for them in the beginning with another person. Reset your game and boom. We're going to do that. That's what we got to do out of this box. But we still need the Charizard. Charizard's the missing link here. Alright, Kirk. I need something a little bit more in this music to pull Charizard. Try something. Kirk, come on. Three from the back. Pokemon Flute. Nidorino, if you guys are just joining up right now, we only have like four more packs left. We pulled Char- uh, We pulled Blastoise. We pulled Venus. We need Charizard. Hollywag. Weedle. Machop. We got a Tangela. Pikachu, nice! Water! Psychic! Alakazam Hollow Hit will take that! Big hitter, number one in the set! Woo! And I'm telling you, I'm not that crazy because the Psychic Energy was right behind it. It does happen. It does happen. Alakazam! I always liked getting Alakazam in the game. Man, that looks good. That's just the classic. OG. 1999 artwork. Basic background to kind of pull it all in there, just like the little circular thing going on with the purple. Different like hues of that. And it's like just the Alakazam just staring back at you like, let's go. Alakazam Hollow! That is what I, that was one of the big three that we were missing, um, or at least that I would like to see would be the Alakazam, Mewtwo, and Charizard. We got one of them, Alakazam, worth over 500 in a PSA 10. Good hit, nice. Good job, Kirk. Pulling in a heavy hitter. Still not feeling the music today. It's not working for me. Just, I'm just gonna click on a random song and see what happens. Alright, let's go with this. Alright, Pikachu! 
Alakazam Hollow out of the Venusaur pack artwork. But we're coming down to the nitty gritty, the final, final packs here. Can we do it? We've got a lot of big hitters, but we still, we still want to see if we can pull the Charizard. I would love to pull Mewtwo as well. Pretty much like the, the, the final two big, big hitters that we really need for this box. We need, we need a Charizard. I would love to get a Mewtwo. Venusaur has been really good to us, by the way. Alright. Final three. Andrew W. 103-23. Final three packs. Come on. Alright. Come on. We can do it. We've done it before. We have pulled a base set Charizard out of the last pack. It was so long ago, though. It was so long ago. It was like well over a year ago. Andrew, Magmar, Dugong. We got a Magic Card. Dope Duo. Magnemite. Dean, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Perfect time. We're going to pull a Charizard. Rat to tat, to tat, to tat, to tat. Number like seven, maybe, on the Rat attack. Squirtle, nice. All right, let's get serious, Jimmy. Thank you. Psychic. Crest. Oh, nice hit, Chansey Hollow. We'll take that, man. That's actually, if you can get this card in a PSA 10, it's crazy valuable. But like the classic Chansey, the classic Chansey has been pulled. The original 1999 base set, unlimited, number three out of 102 in the set. Chansey, Chansey Hollow. If you could somehow get this thing in a 10, you're talking about $2,300. But. I say, but it's very difficult to get this card in 10 because the background is super light, like the fairy. But for some reason, Chansey is even more difficult. Um, so we're gonna see. There's usually print lines on Chansey, which is the unfortunate thing, but that's why it's worth so much. Like, it's literally like a mirror. I pretty much see myself right there. Hello. It's the same spot. But with Chansey, you have a couple more. You have one down, going down uh, vertically. And you have that same, that is very, like, oh, okay, there they are. No, no, see, there, there's, there's the classic Chansey. A lot of little print lines. That's what happens with Chansey, though. It's tough to get in the PSA 10. Back's not so bad. There's a little tiny nick there. Chansey! All right, Poker Cave. I think we're at 12. Now, we need Arceus. We need like a Poker God to bless us with the 13th hollow out of this box. It is possible. Will it happen? I don't know. We've been here before, though. We just gotta believe. You guys are just joining in because I still see people still getting here. We have two packs left. We pulled pretty much everything. Everything you could want besides... Well, besides... Charizard. We got the Blastoise. We got Venusaur. We got Alakazam. We got Gyarados. We got Chansey. We got Clefairy. We got Hitmonchan. We even got Magneton and Polyrath. We got two Ninetales. But somehow! We don't have Charizard. There's two packs left. We're gonna need some kind of crazy, crazy, crazy Hail Mary of like epic proportions. Because not only do we need to get one more Hollow than the average amount of hollows in the box, which is already pretty difficult. On top of that, we need to pull a Charizard. 
Also, actually, we haven't pulled up YouTube, which would be sick. Some P, 103.24. Blastoise. Can we do it? Jake the Viking! Have you pulled Exodia yet? I have. But from a unlimited booster box. Six months ago. Yugi Rev, coincidentally, is actually making a comeback very soon. I would say within one to two weeks is what I hear. That's the rumors. Alright. I want to break the odds with you, Poke Cave. Full heal. Double colors. Machoke. We have a Vulpix. Coughing! Charmander! That's a good sign. Sand Shrew. What's going on, Ryan? Pogadine, thank you for hanging out here through this video. Switch. Psychic Energy. Grass Energy. Pokemon Breeder! Ugh! No! We got one final pack left! The Pokemon Breeder, second to last pack, is not what we wanted to see. Whew! We need every single anything we can do to bring good luck. We need a Hail Mary Arceus. Everything. Final, final, finale. Just, just needed, like, a crazy, crazy Poke Miracle right now. I'm gonna sleeve up these cards. And we're gonna see if we can do it. It is a Venusaur pack artwork. We have been very lucky with the Venusaur pack artworks throughout this opening. So at least there's a Venusaur in there. I think we can do it. Chat, give me anything, everything you got. Anything you can throw in there for good luck, we need it right now. Final pack, 1999, base set unlimited. Also want to say what's up to PokeFam. Thank you again for the super chat. Thanks for inspiring me to get back into cards. You're the real one for sure. Thank you again, PokeFam. Best of luck to you. The Pokemon Collector! Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate the support. JDM Turbo Outlaw. Thanks for being an inspiration. I'm going to be doing my first ever giveaway of Hidden Fates Ultra Ball Great Ball Set. With away, away with our pool game. Thank you. Sorry, I can't. My brain's not functioning right now. I appreciate it. All right. Cheers. I gotta get these cups made for you guys, or maybe I'll put Poke Cave on that. All right. Let's go. Jimmy's good. Omar J, 103, 25. All right. sign. Alright. Pack number 36. Omar is the final person in this base set unlimited booster box opening. We want to see if we can defy the odds. And somehow, some way, it's going to take a crazy, 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 crazy good luck to happen. We have to defy so many odds. 
but it's not impossible. Super Potion. Machoke. Squirtle. No matter what happens, make sure you stick around until after this pack. I'm going to announce next week's opening. Potion. Got a Ghastly. A Nidoran. Vulpix. Lightning Energy. Grass Energy. Electabuzz is the last card. Electabuzz? Electabuzz. Alright. Finishing off with a non hollow rare Electabuzz. We tried to end it out with the Charizard to go against the odds, but thankfully we did pull a lot of big hitters. The only the really the only big hitters we were missing was unfortunately the Charizard and the Mewtwo. We pulled Blastoise Venusaur, Alakazam Gyarados. We pulled Nine Tails two times, Hitmonchan, called Fairy Chansey. Polyrath, Magneton, Zapdos. We pulled almost, we pulled most of the hollows, most of the big ones. We were missing Charizard. We pulled a lot of Charizards this week, thankfully. Unfortunately, we couldn't pull one out of this booster box. But since you guys stuck around to the very end, I'm gonna announce next week's opening. We're going back to a different era of Pokemon. It's super old school, but it's a different era. It's gonna be a fun one. All right, give me one second while I pull this up. I want to let you all, you all know as well. Um, Make sure you enter the giveaway. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section once this live is over. As soon as I end it, just refresh it. Throw a comment in there. You got nothing to lose. You got uh, a good chance to win something. Well, not a good... Mm, no, you got a chance. I don't know if it's a good or a bad chance, but you have a chance. One person will win the packs that we opened up at a halftime um, in this opening. So just leave a comment, like the video. Make sure you subscribe. And announcing the opening here. I'm going to show it on the screen. It'll go up on thepokeup.com as soon as I show it. By the way, I will be doing a big Chilling Rain opening. Possibly tomorrow. Make sure you're on the, the email notification list. Um, I will blast out emails most likely for this opening, so make sure you guys are on that next week. We're going to be opening up. We're going to an era which we haven't opened up in a long time. It is an old school era. You ready? Next Tuesday, we're going to be opening up an entire booster box of EX Legend Maker. Going in for the gold stars, baby. The EX cards, the hollows. Dude, there's, there's views in this card. That will make you drool for like a week straight. We're opening up this entire booster box. So if you guys want to head over to poke pokecave.com, feel free to check it out. Um, or not. You know, you can come and just hang out and watch the opening. That's what it's all about here in the Poke Cave. Thank you all for sticking with me through this opening, which was like two and a half hours of original 1999 base sets booster box opening. I had a blast. Hope you guys did as well. But that's going to be it. Hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you on. The next one! Man, I... I always mess up my outros. I can never do it. Uh, bye.